What's up guys? I thought I'd come on here and talk about the JT Remuto and Marcel Zuna rumors and I honestly just think they're that. I um, tend to believe the Marcel Zuna rumors more because JT Remuto is such a great player and overall defense and offense, I get it. But if the money is accurate, five years, 110 million, I'd be more inclined to give that to Freddie Freeman for an extension because we have through four viable catchers, uh, Travis Darno and those three blue chip prospects, Contreras, Jackson, and Langoliers, who we drafted number nine a few years ago, and he's making uh, strides upon strides. And I feel like we're stronger in that area than we are in the outfield. Uh, it's obvious in the outfield because we only have uh, Ender and Ciarte who struggle mightily with both injuries, confidence, and his defense, which is his calling card, that took a hit in the latter part of 2020. He did not get a lot of playing time last year because of that. And then you got Christian Pache, who I think is going to take a big leap forward in playing time and productivity for the Braves, who was forced into action due to Duvall's injury. And then you got Ronald Acuna Jr., star upon star, diamond upon diamond there, so you're fine there. But it, Drew Waters, who hasn't sniffed MLB time yet, um, is a speedster and has a lot of tools, but his strikeout rate is through the roof right now and that's to be expected as a young player. So right now you're talking three three viable outfielders, or really two because you don't know uh, about Ender Inciarte and whether he'll have a bounce back or what's gonna happen there. In addition to that, if you play if you play JT Remito a catcher's primary position, that's all great and everything, but then if we don't have the DH, what do you do with Travis, uh, who's coming off a career year, Silver Slugger, and I just really, really like what he brought to the club. And then if you move JT Rio Muto to, say, left field, uh, that destroys our defensive uh, ability, even with the speed of Pache and Acuna. I don't think that is fair to JT Rio Muto to make it like an Evan Gaddis situation, even though I think he is a premier hitter and he's just premier behind the plate and if you take him from behind the plate um, then the value goes down there and I feel like adding Ozuna on say a 476 I've seen that number bantied around you've got uh, him in left field yeah he's a liability we saw it uh, a little bit last year but uh, he has robbed homers in the past, and he can make the routine play, at, whereas JT Riamuto I don't think has any experience out there. It would be a complete, complete liability um, there as well. And even though I would love to stick it to the Phillies and have him come to Atlanta because that would just be an awesome uh, experience to see, I think it's more likely we see... Ozuna come back, which I would really, really love, Marcel Brit, or you could go trade for a Gallo. Yes, it would probably take a Waters, a Contreras, or something like that, but he's that right-handed power bat. He can be in the outfield. You can stick him at the DH uh, in 2022 or this year, 2021, if you want to, then lengthen the lineup um, with maybe then go after a Jock Peterson uh, for a platoon lefty. Or we might not go after the big fish um, and go a uh, Peterson or a Ros Eddie Rosario, which that's a vi viable option too. But all I can say is we know that AA is plays everything close to the best. So if it's leaked out, I think it's more Rhea Muto's uh, camp trying to drive the price up and I wouldn't mind them ha the Phillies having to pay more for him. But again, if we land Rhea Muto, I'm going to welcome him with open arms. And we'll see uh, the interesting carousel that follows. But I really feel like uh, AA and everybody is 
playing chess, uh, and everybody else is playing checkers trying to figure this out. Um, but the reality is we were 10 outs from the World Series, and I don't think uh, that can be discounted, and I know we're going to do something. Um, I just don't like uh, adding somebody, even though of the caliber of JT Rio Muto, I love it, but in a position of strength, catcher and we don't have any outfield depth or quality outside of Ozuna and Pache to be uh, completely honest and really inexperienced out there and whether Ender and Ciarte, uh bounces back is your guess is as good as mine because it did not look good um, for him there so I know something is going to happen I'm just not sure what JT or Imito is great, but I would uh, like to go the outfield route. Um, I'm guessing it'll be somebody we haven't even talked about, and we're going to be so excited when it happens. But those, that's my two cents on the JT Ria Muto, um, Marcelo Zuna, and all that stuff is. All I know is we need a number four hitter, and we need to know if the DH is coming into play because then that changes things because maybe you could add JT Remuto as a DH and then Travis Sarno as a primary catcher and then use Contreras or, or uh, Jackson in the outfield. Uh, if you really wanted to do that, that was his primary position before we switched him to catcher. So, I mean, we really need to know if the DH, but I do know um, we have, seemingly we have the resources to Reel in a big fish, uh, according to Mark Bowman, uh, the MLB writer for the Braves. So it's going to be interesting, and I do know that uh, 70 days till opening day, something's going to happen. We've just got to be a little bit more patient. But as always, go Braves. It's going to be fun and exciting to watch. And I do appreciate being a part of rumors, even if they are just rumors. But as always, go Braves. Uh, keep it here to find out what happens.